that by working together, we can win the first war of the 21st century, and that is the war of cold-blooded killers against cold-blooded killers, the first war of the 21st century, cold-blooded killers against cold-blooded killers. The human mind is like a computer. No matter how efficient it may be, its reliability is only as great as the information fed into it. If it is possible to control the input of the human mind, then no matter how intelligent a person may be, it's entirely possible to program what he will think. And yes, it's even possible to program people to laugh at the mere mention of the word conspiracy. So using television as the prime example uh, of how uh, mental programming and mind control works, television is the most powerful weapon of psychological warfare in history. And yet television, for, for many people, is a member, a member of the family in the household. There's a movie called Loose Change that asserts hundreds, if not thousands, of Americans colluded to kill their fellow citizens on 9-11. That Al-Qaeda didn't attack us. We essentially attacked ourselves. This fairy tale ranks up there with the Holocaust deniers on a vicious scale. We are living in a virtual reality. We're living in a totally controlled environment, an environment that has been, been created by mass media. Now, many people, especially young people, accept unquestioningly the reality that is presented by the media. Popular culture, movies, television, music, carry messages about how society works and how people should behave. The ultimate control is to control people without their conscious awareness. Again, television is a prime example. Think back to whenever you have observed young children or older adults sitting, watching television. They have this glassy-eyed, vacant look in their eyes because they are in a trance state, in a hypnotic state of mind. Now, was Charlie Sheehan ranting like a lunatic about the September 11th attacks, now word comes that Sheehan will be narrating a new film about 9-11 conspiracy theories. Joining us now, National Syndicated Radio Talk Show. People think that hypnosis is some mysterious, esoteric thing, and it's not. It's just simply a mental transaction in which a person has focused their attention They've stopped being critical, and they're more open to suggestion. If someone is looking for people to hypnotize, they know that 85 out of 100 are going to be able to go into some level of trance. Hypnosis is a natural way of inducing a trance-like state, and we all have the ability to enter into trance. At many times during every day of our life, we slip into trance-like states where we become absorbed in watching the television. The first order of business for a propagandist or an advertiser is to create the circumstances that will induce a state of mind that is favorable to the reception of their message. And that state of mind is the hypnotic state of mind, making television extremely important in this whole process of creating a, a unified mindset among the entire population. Have you ever bought something and then later on wondered why did you buy it? Well, that, that, that's a, a common everyday uh, illustration of being triggered to make a purchase based on a conditioned response that has been built into us to have a preference for a particular product. That is the whole point of programming, whether it be by an advertiser or a propagandist. Uh, there's really no difference between the two. One's uh, selling products, the other is selling ideas. The whole point is to build into us a conditioned response where we will respond automatically without thinking, with a preference for a particular idea or preference for a uh, particular product.
if you think about it, whenever you hear news broadcasters speak, you, you realize that their speech pattern is similar to the pattern speech of a hypnotist. The news broadcaster looks directly into the camera and into the eyes of the viewer. Another hypnotic technique. Terror experts are working around the clock to head off any new attempt to attack America. And they're concerned that in the not so distant future, terrorists could easily blend in with the U.S. population. Bob War now on Al Qaeda's latest tactics. U.S. officials are increasingly worried that the next attack on America could be carried out by Americans trained in terror. Report that will be released here in Washington tomorrow. It concludes that homegrown terrorism is on the rise in this country, and one of the most significant contributing factors remains the internet. But my question for you is this, real quick, Rob. I heard that on the 17th of this month, George passed an executive order that says you can, if you protest the Iraqi war, you can have your assets. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry to uh, cut you off. Uh, Balloon Town, Connecticut. On it's time to wake up. The people in power go out of their way to make sure that you are perpetually misled and manipulated. The majority's perception of reality, especially in the political arena, is not their own. It is shrewdly imposed upon them without them even knowing it. It's time that some of us woke up to this reality to understand that people who try to maintain empires and create empires do it by manipulating the people they're trying to conquer. You might want to ask yourself why the entire culture is utterly saturated with mass media entertainment from all sides. They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. The last thing the power establishment wants is a conscious, informed public capable of critical thinking. This is why a continually fraudulent zeitgeist is output the mass media and the educational system. It is in their interest to keep you in a distracted, naive bubble, and they are doing a damn good job of it. So there, we have figured it out. Go back to bed, America. Your government has figured out how it all transpired. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, here's American gladiators. Watch this, shut up. Go back to bed, America. Here is American gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Watch these pituary retards bang their fucking skulls together and congratulate you on living in the land of freedom. Here you go, America. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you. Oh, good. Honey, I heard on the news that they figured out that the gun, what happened is that there is an echo and that Kennedy was uh, asking uh, Jackie what it was and that's why his head flew up. Honey, what time's Gladiator's on? Are we missing it? Woo, I'm so glad we're free, honey. There is an illusion of, uh, of choice that's maintained when you can have a hundred channels on your cable system and um, you know uh, how many movies did the studios release a year now um, all of these different studios and the music industry with so many labels and uh, magazine stands that go on and on and on forever well that the owners are, are you know a handful five six different companies well who owns the media and when I say that not I, I mean it not literally but as far as who controls the information that goes out in the media 90% of the top cable channels are owned by the same giants that own the TV networks and the cable systems. More channels are great, but when they're all owned by the same people, cable doesn't advance localism, editorial diversity, and competition. And those who believe the Internet alone will save us from this fate should realize that the dominating Internet news sources are controlled by the same media giants who control radio, TV, newspapers, and cable. America forms its opinions 
my information is provided to them. And common sense will tell you that if the information that you get from your mainstream media is misinformation or disinformation or even a lie, then common sense will tell you that the opinion is an extension of the lie. Now, unfortunately, America and indeed the rest of the world is getting information that's being massaged, it's being spun, it's being prepared for them for consumption. Now, there are two primary means by which people are manipulated and controlled. One is very simple, very basic, and that is uh, simply the control of information and the control of, uh, if we don't have all of the facts of, of, on any particular topic, then our judgment is going to be no better than the quality of our information. Have you ever heard that phrase, everyone knows that, mate? Well, why does everyone know that? Well, it's because this system is controlled by what I call repeaters. They're people in the situ situations of power and influence who just repeat what someone else tells them. A doctor is repeating what they were told at medical school and what the drug companies tell them. Uh, you've got teachers who repeat what they learned in their exams and what they learned at teacher training college and they repeat that to the next generation. And the great repeaters are what pass for journalists. This is the area outside uh, Parliament where they stand there doing their pieces to camera telling people what's going on. Here we have the uh, crews waiting for the journalists to come across from Westminster and stand there and tell them what's happening in the world. The fact is they don't know what's happening. They know nothing. So this is what they should be saying if they were telling the truth. Now over to Westminster for the latest news from David Icke. Thank you, you. Well, I've got to be honest, mate. I haven't got a clue what's going on. I tell you what my job is, right? I, I wear a dark suit, not normally, but you know, I'm playing here. Um, and I'm come over from there and I tell you what they've told me is going on. And I deliver it as if I know what's going on and it's really true. I've got a clue if it's true. But they tell me and they wouldn't lie, would they? I mean, would Tony Blair lie about what's really happening? Would George Bush, please? I'm a journalist, trust me. And so, what we call news you, what you get paid a lot of money for reading autocue about, is merely propaganda that they have told me and I tell you. David Icke, BBC, ITN, CNN, CBS, Sky News, Westminster. The greatest form of control is where you think you're free when you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell but you can't see the bar, you think you're free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We are being hypnotized by people like this. Newsreaders, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. If you can persuade them that what they see with their eyes is what there is to see, you don't. Because they'll laugh in the face of an explanation that portrays the bigger picture of what's happening. And they have. You can persuade them that what they see with their eyes is what there is to see, you don't. Because they'll laugh in the face of an explanation that portrays the bigger picture of what's happening. And they have. You can persuade them that what they see with their eyes is what there is to see. That what they see with their eyes is what there is to see. You don't. Because they'll laugh in the face of an explanation that portrays the bigger picture of what's happening.